my YouTube friends. What is the best way to combine chat from any streaming source into a single stream of messages? I mean, it's impossible to keep up with chat if it's all in different windows. Or maybe you're a one monitor streamer that doesn't want to use their phone to read the chat anymore. Well, after today's video, you're going to know everything that you need to know to do whatever you want with your live stream chats. We've got a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! First, let's start by adding any chat that you could possibly want to your live stream and into OBS's UI. And to do that, we're going to use Social Stream Ninja. It's free and easy. There is a link down in the description so you can download it and follow along. That is the best way to learn. This is the Social Stream Ninja website. And you can see we've got a Chrome extension, a Windows app, a Mac OS app, a Linux app, and a Chrome web store. So there are a lot of different ways that you can get this on your system. And if I scroll down here till we get to the information, you're going to see supported sites. And this tells you how to actually activate the chat on each site. So pop out chat, pop out chat. You're going to notice there are hundreds, hundreds of different sites that this supports. Kick, it supports Rumble, pretty much any site that live streams this supports so it's pretty amazing even stuff like riverside is supported by social stream ninja which means you can capture the chat from any of these sites and most of them are just popping out the chat which i'll show you in a minute but some of them are not some of them will have little links where there's a little bit of a different process to capture the chat so you can come here anytime if you're streaming to a new platform and check out the method by which you're going to capture that chat you can actually use firefox but i recommend using chrome edge or brave Here's the link to the newest download. We'll get to that in a minute. But what you want to see here is they do have a Chrome Web Store version, which you can install right there, but it updates slower than the other ones. And then they do have a standalone version of the app, which is upcoming. So this is kind of in beta, which is why I'm not going to use it today, but you may want to use it. And it just downloads and installs as an app instead of as a browser extension. So if you're a person who is not using Chrome or doesn't want to use Chrome, there is a standalone version app that you can use. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the manual install and we're going to download the newest version right here. And so bada bing, it downloads automatically and we can see that download if we go into our downloads right here social stream main what i'm going to do is right click and i'm going to go and extract the files we can double click and see what we've got here pretty simple stuff just a bunch of things in here so how do we get this on our system pretty simple we're going to go into chrome and we're going to go and select this right here and we're going to manage our extensions. You want to make sure that you have developer mode selected up here. What we want to do is load an unpacked extension and we're going to go into our downloads and we're going to select this folder and we see right here. Now we've got this one loaded up. Now we've got social stream ninja installed. All we need to do is make sure that this is turned on and then we can organize our extensions up here as well. So we're going to close that down and we go in here we can organize our extensions. So we want to make sure that Social Stream Ninja is pinned so we can see it up here. That's all we really need to do. Now we can get to it by going right here. You're going to see that this has a whole heck of a lot more than just chat that you can mess with. But for now, we are going to just use the chats, the dockable chat and the chat that you can put on your screen. That's about it. It has a featured chat overlay, hype meter, emotes wall all kinds of really cool features that you can use. So I have a video that covers a lot more of that stuff that will be at the end of the video that you could check it out. But all we really need are these links right here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that link and we're gonna put it into our OBS. So here we have a blank profile and what we're gonna do is just dock our chat first. We're gonna go into docs and we're going to go to custom browser docs and we'll put in a new name ss ninja and we're going to take our url and paste it in there like that and apply and now we have a social stream ninja doc that we could just bring over here put it in there and now our chat's going to be right there now we can add the chat to our stream by clicking on the plus and going into browser sources right here and we could call this chat 
click OK. And all we have to do is paste that link like that. And we can set up the size we want and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment and click OK. And now we're going to have our Social Stream Ninja chat right in here. Let's go ahead and kick this off so we can actually take a look at the chat we're getting. And in order to do that, we're just going to use streams that are happening right now. I'm not going to go live. I'm just going to capture other people's chat to show you how it works. So this has 4,000 people watching. So we'll go ahead and just go to that stream. We should see some chat over here. We're not really interested in any of this. We'll make sure that we have no volume. But all we have to do is pop out this chat like that. So there we go. We've got the chat popped out. And now when we go over here, we're going to start to see this work. We can right click and refresh. Let's make sure that we have our chat enabled. There we go. We have to enable our extension. And now you can see our chat is pouring in. Now that's just the YouTube chat, so let's go ahead and do the same thing for Twitch. All right, and all we have to do is find somebody who's live, so we'll just go to this one here. And all we have to do is go down here into chat settings, and then we can just pop out the chat. So now when we go into OBS, you're going to see we've got our Twitch and our YouTube chats coming in at the same time. Now we can set this up differently. We can right click and go to properties and I'm going to go ahead and adjust our height and there we go. So we can change up the look and how this works pretty easily. All we have to do is go into our extension. So each one of these things is going to have different ways that you can set up and view your stuff. I'm going to go into stylings here and show you one that I use pretty often. And that is the horizontal scrolling messages. So if we set that to on right there, then we're going to come up here and we're going to notice that this changes up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just copy the link again. I'm going to go back over into OBS and we're going to adjust our properties here by just putting that new link in and clicking OK. And now you're going to see this is set up a little bit differently. You're going to see it scrolling across. So what we would probably do here is go to properties and we'd set this up for 1920 and then the height could be more like 500 or less than that probably even. But there we go. So now we've got our chat scrolling across horizontally or vertically. It's easy to change this up. It's just a little setting right here. So we could go and remove the at horizontal and apply it and it's going to move vertically again like that. So you've got a lot of control over how this is set up by just adjusting the height and the width and all that stuff. We're going to go in here and obviously make this 600. We can also crop it up. If you don't want to have, you know, some of this stuff in here, we could change it up so it doesn't have it. Now you can see when you do it this way, it kind of truncates everything and puts it on a separate line. And that's why I think 800 might be the ideal size right here. So you get this over on the side. And that way, if you wanted to crop it out so you didn't show the site or something like that, you can easily do that. That is everything you need to know about adding your chats directly into your OBS so that you can see them and directly over your screen so you can see them. So if I added a camera in here, it would just be behind the chat. There are so many options if you don't like how this looks that you could change up right in styling, effects. I mean, just in effects alone, you can have chat fade in, slide right. You can have the chat disappear in certain instances if you want to. Uh, you can export the chat. So if you wanted to save messages and that sort of stuff, you can change up the mechanics. You can add text to speech. There are so many different things that you can do. You can go in here into visibility and hide badges, hide anything you want, ignore emojis. So literally you can change up any aspect of your chat that you want. Now I'm guessing there are some of you out there watching this that don't have multiple monitors to be able to look at OBS while you're streaming. You guys are ending up using your phone to actually see all of the chat, but we can fix this issue for sure. But first, now I work really hard to try to create content I think you're going to enjoy. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but honestly, it's really hard to know for sure. 
And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and leave it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, please don't hesitate to leave it a thumbs down. If every single person watching this video right now leaves it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm definitely gonna know if this is the kind of content you wanna see on this channel. So thumbs up or thumbs down right now, let's get back to the video. Now the tool you're gonna want for all you single monitor folks is a free tool and it's called the Transparent Twitch Chat Overlay. Let me show you exactly how it works. All right, so this is the page we're gonna go to for our chat overlay. And there's some information here that you can read through. There is a wiki link right here that you could get more information on the types of chat that you can do. But also you can do Twitch and YouTube chat integrated together. It tells you how to do it on the wiki link. We're gonna go ahead and download the latest release, which is right here. All we have to do is go and find it right here. Uh, but we're gonna just do the setup one right here. So if we click that, we could see that it downloads. And we're gonna go over here into our downloads and we're gonna double click on our Twitch chat overlay setup. And basically this is what we get. We've got our overlay. So we can click the setting buttons to get it started. We're gonna go into settings and we could just add the username. Uh, it has Twitch right here. So what we're gonna do is we'll go over here and we're gonna select our username right there and we'll put it in here. We can change our chat fade times, all that sort of stuff. We can open our chat filter settings which allow us to change some different things in here. If we want chat sound, we could turn it off. If we want to change up the theme, we can change up the theme right there. In general, we can auto hide borders, allow interactions, all this sort of stuff. There's lots of different things. We've got some hotkeys to put borders on and off. And if you turn off the borders, that means that basically you're locking the chat in place so that it won't move around. We can change up connections and we can add widgets, we can save, and you're gonna see the chat is loading. So now this will always be on top of whatever we do. So we can load up the game and it's gonna work. We can all tab to our chat Twitch overlay, and then we can move it around and place it wherever we want, and then control alt F9 or hit this, and that will toggle the borders off so now we can't grab it or move it. And then we can control alt F9 to add the borders back. So how do you add this into your OBS? What I'm gonna do is go ahead and click the plus. Now, if you add this as a game capture, let me show you what happens. Um, we're gonna capture a specific window and we're gonna capture our Skyrim right there. And so when we select Skyrim, now when we flip over, we're gonna see that it's coming in and we wanna just make it the right size and all that stuff, but you could see our chat overlay is not appearing in here. Well, that's not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that. And if you do a window capture, you're gonna have the same problem. So what we're gonna do is a display capture, right? And we're gonna capture our primary monitor because you're only gonna have one. So there's not gonna be anything in the dropdown. And you just click okay. Make sure that it's set up so it's the correct size. And now when we flip over into our game, it's going to show the whole full overlay right in here. See how we're getting the overlay now? Well, you're going to get that in your game too. It also, the downside is obviously it's going to show everything that's in your OBS screen if you toggle back and forth. Uh, you can go into settings and then you can go into the hide OBS window capture. So it will enable the option to hide the OBS window. So now, even though we're seeing the OBS window right there, if we apply, now we're not. So now the audience is still just seeing the actual captured screen just like this. So that's an easy way to get around showing your OBS when you're doing this. And now we're all set, we're ready to go, and you can stream and have your chat on your game so you can actually see it no more using your phone. Now, if we go over here into the wiki for this, if you wanna know how you can get your YouTube gaming and all that sort of stuff, add different types of chat, all the information is right here, including how you can add Twitch and YouTube integrated in one window, because you're going to wanna have your chats integrated if you're streaming to multiple locations. And by the way, those aren't the only two that you can add. It gives you the opportunity to add other types of chats as well. 
And then of course down here you can add followers and sub redemption so you can see that and also current viewers so you can see that. Which means that you can add everything to your overlay dashboard into the game that you're playing making streaming with only one monitor a much easier proposition. And all that information is right on here. There's gonna be links in the description so you can check it all out. Now hopefully I answered all your questions and you're now a combined chat master. However, if there's something that I left out or you have a question, please let me know about it down in the comments below and I'll try to answer it for you. And if you wanna see a deeper dive into Social Stream Ninja and all of its features, because there are a lot more, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.